Hi, I'm Douglas Caden. Over the last five years or so, I have designed and built, with the help of many people here at Cal Poly Rose Float, this animation system to control animation on, on the float. I'm going to show you how a mechanism on the float would work, how the computer would control that mechanism, and how we, the users, would teach the computer exactly what we wanted to do, and then how we would synchronize the animation on the float with a soundtrack. This is a robot arm that we built for some experimentation. It is not going to be used on the float, but it is similar to the mechanisms that we would use on the float, so I can use it to demonstrate to you how this whole system works. Now this arm can move in four places. It has a, a, a base joint that can rotate, a shoulder joint, an elbow, and a claw. Now the way this is moved is through a hydraulic system. This is a hydraulic cylinder. There's a piston in here, and a rod connecting to this. If we pump hydraulic fluid into this side of the cylinder, the rod extends and the arm will straighten out. If we pump hydraulic fluid into this side, the rod pulls back in and the elbow will, will bend again. A hydro hydraulic pressure for this system is provided by this pump over here, but the pump does not control the actual direction or velocity of the mechanism. That's done by these proportional valves. The way this works is the computer sends a signal to these valves, and the valve controls the amount of hydraulic fluid to each side of the cylinder, which then controls the direction and the velocity of the cylinder, and thus the direction and velocity of the motion of the arm. Now, for the computer to control this, it needs to know where all of these joints on this arm are, so we use a position feedback system. The way that works is on this joint, you can see we've got a cable here, and when this arm, when the elbow bends, it pulls on this cable. This cable goes through here, down to this position transducer. And this position transducer sends a signal back to the computer, and with that the computer can tell exactly what position this elbow joint is in. Over here we have the computer. Actually, there are two computers. This one controls all of the mechanisms on the float. This one is a laptop which has two purposes. One is that we develop the animation software on this computer and then run it on here. The other is that since this computer doesn't have a keyboard, we type our commands on here and it sends them to this computer to be run. In addition to that, we have the control panel. This has a display so that we can see what's going on and various function keys so we can control the program. Now when all the animation on the, on the float has been programmed, we can remove the laptop and do everything that we need to do through this console. Down here is the manual override panel. This lets us control the mechanisms on the float, even if the computer is shut down. In addition, if any of the mechanisms on the float should break, we can disable that mechanism so that the computer can't move it. This is the learn box. It has several function keys, which are duplicates of the keys on the control panel, and it has a joystick. Now, the way we control animation on the float is we select one or two mechanisms on the float to be controlled by the joystick. Then, the position of the joystick controls the position of the mechanisms on the float. While we're moving the joystick around, the computer is controlling the mechanisms and recording what we're doing so they can play them back the same way later. Then, when it plays them back, we select a different group of cylinders to be controlled by the joystick, and we move those, and the computer records those at the same time that it's playing back the others. And in that way, we build up all the motions on the float a few at a time until finally everything is programmed. I'll demonstrate. Now I'm putting the computer into the exercise mode. In this mode, the computer doesn't record everything I do, but it lets me control the mechanism and just practice the motion that I want to do. You can see that the position of the joystick controls the position of the arm. This mode is used for practicing motion before you actually do the real learn of the motion. 
So let's say I want to program to go up and around and back down. Now once you get good enough at this motion, you go into the learn mode. The learn gives me a few seconds delay to get ready, and then it starts recording. Now that the computer knows how to do that, I will let it control the motion. We go into the run mode. The computer is now playing back the exact same motions that I programmed into it a minute ago. It repeats these motions until I tell it to stop. Now that the computer knows how to control the shoulder and the waist, I need control of the other joints in the arm. So I select the claw and the elbow. Now that we've programmed the shoulder and the waist, we do things a little bit differently. Instead of going into the exercise mode, we go into the run mode. This allows me to practice controlling the elbow and the claw in coordination with the shoulder and waist, which are being controlled by the computer. Now the computer is controlling the shoulder and the waist while I have control of the elbow and the claw. Now we go into the learn mode. This time, the computer is playing back the motions that it knows and recording the motions that I'm giving it. Now the computer will play back the entire thing without my help. <laughs>